Madam Chair, uh, as I've had a chance to share in this committee before, uh, I, before entering the Senate, I served as California Secretary of State, where a part of the portfolio was uh, serving as a custodian of the state's archives. Uh, at the time, I made it a priority to dramatically increase public access to our state's archives, and this involved a significant undertaking to digitize our archive materials to make them easily viewable. Uh, not just to the people of California, but to the world. Uh, question, first question is for Ms. Park. Uh, you noted that prioritizing digitization is one of the Smithsonian's key considerations with respect to AI. How do you envision leveraging AI to increase public access to the Smithsonian? Indeed. Um, uh, and I'll maybe make a couple of comments in, in response to your question. The first is that digitization is absolutely one of our priorities as an institution. We've been at it actually for a while. It is a behemoth task with over 150 million uh, objects. Uh, and we're working hard to identify ways to prioritize that. Um, we have a long ways to go in terms of having those materials digitized. So when you refer to your own experience in California, the first step, obviously, with AI is even getting the records available and readable and, and analyzable in a, a digital format. So that is um, job number one for us. Uh, and the second part um, is we, we believe that, um, unlike a search engine that would be able to help the public discover certain items that we might have in our collection and learn about them, AI has the ability for the public to make connections among the documents and objects and, and items that we have in ways that we can't do as humans. Uh, that we can use generative AI and we hope to make it available to the public as well to be able to discover things that we didn't even realize we had in our collections. So I think there's some really exciting opportunities here, um, but as you noted, job one is getting more of our items digitized and readable in a way that AI can make use. And. Uh... I'll let you on a, on, a, on a secret, maybe a good strategy. Whatever's most popular already, the, that's where to start. <laughs> the ruby slippers. Because that tends to be the uh, uh, most popular to, to everybody else. And just imagine the uh, curating opportunities that are possible when you get the metadata and the keywords right. Uh, so there's some good experts that, that'll be helpful. Uh, Dr. Hayden, same question to you. The library, um has been very, uh, really at the forefront in the library field with looking at how digitized material could be made more discoverable. Because if it's not discoverable, it's really not accessible. And so one of the projects that I mentioned in my testimony was taking a 20-year project of uh, digitizing and making available newspapers from all 50 states but adding an AI instrument, a navigator, you can now do even more research into those newspapers, the photos that are in there, names, all types of things. And so we've seen that that has made what was just basically making things, putting them into uh, digital form from the vast amount of analog material we have and print material going back hundreds of years, just basically digitizing them, yes, that's an accessible aspect, but having tools that have people be able to get into them has proven very um, popular, especially when we allow the public to use material in a creative way, like our citizen um, DJ program, where they can, we put the material up there, music, all types of things, and people can use them. So these mm -hmm. tools can be very helpful for having people make those connections between our various collections. We have collections in 470 languages. Mm -hmm. And so being able to use AI tools to help a follow -up question. Mine a follow-up question to both of you. Do you envision uh, institution-wide or even specific initiatives to always be contained within uh, your respective institutions, or are there opportunities for public-private partnerships that you're envisioning at this point, Dr. Hayden, then Ms. Well, Park? Well, the Library of Congress and the Smithsonian are co-chairing a secretariat um, in this coming year uh, that will look at more ways that we can all collaborate and, of course, 
opportunities with the private sector when we are making sure there are guide rails to them. Correct. I would just add that absolutely there are opportunities to work with um, all sorts of external groups, higher education, uh, companies, all are interested in this space. And um, we have formed several consortiums with different organizations to try to figure out if we can convene together to talk about these kinds of issues to provide space for people to, to discuss the complexities of AI. So absolutely, there are ways for us to partner with others. Okay. Thank you very much.